Hello and welcome to my European War 3 video. My name's Caesar, so let's get right into this. So, uh, I like playing this game. I'm sort of far into it, but not much. Uh, I, I like playing World Conqueror 2 in uh, European War 4 or more, but I'm not far into those games right now, so I'm just going to try and grow my channel before I do those. Let's, we're we're going to do Verdun as the Germans. Just as an example. So in this one, it's not too hard, you know, as the Germans. You already have Netherlands and Belgium, which they they never actually got Netherlands, but whatever. Uh you could attack Denmark, but I'm not a big fan of that, because I think it's sort of a waste of units. And then you have a slight advantage in the Navy. So yeah, just move that up. Huh. So they have a lot of machine guns, the French do, but I have tons of artillery, and really good artillery, so uh, I think I can deal with them. Okay, this isn't too hard. If anybody hasn't played this game before and is watching this, uh, you should know that some units are really good against others. Like, artillery is sort of good against everything, but it's really good against uh, machine guns especially. What? Okay. So we might actually take a territory here. Nice. some guys into there. Uh, it's not too bad to also attack artillery with artillery. The only problem is that usually artillery uh, doesn't get hurt from attacking, which is why I love them in this game, but if you're using them against other artillery, they do hit back, so that sort of sucks. Whatever. Hmm... I don't have money units up here. Yeah, this turn's probably just gonna be like getting the initial push, maybe. I found in this game that it's you sort of just have to go little by little. Like, the computers aren't that hard. So don't worry. If you've never played this game before. <sighs> okay. Artillery. Attack art. Kill that guy. Okay. That's good. So we're good to go now. No, oh, what the Yeah, the CPUs or the computer isn't very good at this game, which if you have if you didn't know already, I'm playing computer right now. Uh it isn't the best. So it can do pretty stupid things like I think it just killed tons of its own units. That's not that rare to see. But it's still a bit of a challenge, especially when you're on equal grounds with them like here. Never underestimate them. Although I do that a lot because they're pretty trash. Huh. Okay, we're doing fine. This is called the Battle of Verdun, but it should be called like the Push of France because really. Uh, Verdun was done in about this area, or this area, but I'm sort of doing like a major push towards France, you know, like along the whole line, so it's sort of misleading, I don't really care, <laughs> probably funner than just a 
five territories and you're just hitting each other back and forth. Okay, my ships are just going to stay there. Actually, uh, what? There we go. We got it. Move everybody up. Hmm. Now, my next objectives will probably be to take Paris and this thing, because they're both really good. And if those fall, usually the whole country falls, but the French still have, like, tons of their army left over, so... Be a bit hard. And the commander is still... Oh, wait, do I... Yeah, I have, yeah, I have my commander on the field. If anybody doesn't know... That funny looking thing above him is his commander. My commander is right here on this artillery. That's why it might have done better than my other guys. Probably did. Hmm. Okay, he's almost dead. But I might not have enough units to take him out now. Attack cards. Okay, yeah, we did kill him. But it just barely didn't kill that. Our, uh, machine gun. We were really close to taking Paris there, but uh, I don't know. I'll just save my money up here. Sorry. I don't really need to buy new troops. Ugh. I always wondered why they didn't do this in real life, you know? Like, I don't mean, like, beat up the French. Like, they did that a lot. But why didn't they go through the Netherlands? You know, these two territories, if you didn't know, the Netherlands. And that was their initial plan in real life. But then they just went through Belgium. But the problem is, is that that didn't really help. Because then it was just really slow. And the French could enforce, reinforce them easily. Like, if they had taken this territory in the Netherlands, they could have, like, easily came through the north of Belgium, and then they would have had both full countries like that in real life. Oh, crap, I'm really hurt. Oh, yeah, machine guns, these things, are really good against infantry and cavalry, so, you know... Don't be too surprised if, you know, a few of his infantry sort of just almost disappear because of how strong they are. Huh. Okay. Let's see if I can get it. Oh, we both died. Dang it. Okay, then we might as well build some artillery just to pound away at their lines. Or at Paris, really. What? Come on. I hate when that happens. Dang it. Artillery is supposed to be good against them. What? Are, what? Okay. Let's just take them out. And can we build machine? No. Can't build machine guns. That was really weird. I've never seen that happen before. We're just... <laughs> they just... Okay, I'm just going to build a city here, so I can actually build troops to invade. There we go, Paris has fallen, now the French are definitely going to die. Uh, I didn't even use my truck in the battle, whatever. Okay. Looking good. Crap, they took Paris, but that's not too big of a problem. So we can just take it right back. 
Okay, so now we have Paris. Yeah, Paris. And their navy isn't is doing worse than their army, really. Like, that ship is just taking seas for some reason. I don't know what it's doing. Mm, the, this trucks... Trucks usually do pretty good against artillery as well. So... Let me just... Oh, he left this open. That's pretty stupid. Okay. I have a lot of hurt guys, though. That's a bit of a problem. Can't exactly fight him with almost dead units. Uh, I have one artillery. I build an industry here so I can just... Start building some artillery. Oh, sorry. Hmm. Yeah, we're going to risk it. We're going to try and just get that one infantry. Oh, just barely. Nice. So the French defeat obviously looks apparent now. The, the only real place they can build is back here and here. But I have way more production anyways, so there's basically no hope for the French now. Might as well build a city in Paris, I guess. I don't know. Just run through their territory. Cavalry or uh, cavalry move three, so you know. Might as well use that to take the city down here. Or industry, whatever. And uh and tons of cavalry just to take out his one cavalry. Oh, I have nothing left. And uh dang it. Oh no, I still take it. Yeah, that's good. So yeah, that's we're done for you guys. Pretty much. It's not that hard. Comment down below if you want me to do any more videos like this. Sorry if the camera was not good. Because it's an iPad, so it's really big, you know. It's hard to get it all on the camera. French defeated. Okay. How many medals, medals do I get? Ah, only nine. Okay, whatever. So, as you can see, my commander is... It, it's pretty good. But there's not much other... Uh, commanders are, you know, those guys I showed you. They're really elite units. But, what sort of sucks about them is you only get one. And this is the only type of medal you can get. This is the free version, so I think there's like, uh, in the paid version, I think there's more stuff, but, you know, I don't want to pay for it. Like, it's almost the same game besides that. Now, I'm just going to show you guys some things that we could do. We could do, no, we're not doing multiplayer, maybe. Uh, well, we can do Empire, which is basically just a bunch of little missions all together. Some people might have trouble on them. I'll unlock most of them besides the French and Japanese. Which you need like a hundred medals to unlock, which really sucks. But they're really fun missions and they give you tons of medals back. So that's fine. Campaign ones, they're 50 medals each. Uh, they're just little scenarios like the one that I just showed you. There's also the revolution I have and yeah, others. North America, Asia. Uh, I noticed that there's only three continents on this. European, North America, and Asia in this game. There should be an Africa, because there's obviously a big front there. Especially in Campaign, but they don't have it, which is weird. In Conquest, you sort of just have three areas again, but... The Campaign is like different parts of the continent, whereas... The European front is just one big game. So, for example, if I did Great Britain... 
everybody's just in one big game. Two sides of central powers and allies. Which is pretty sweet. I could do videos on Germany, which I hear a lot of people are actually having troubles on. And, you know, there's also Asia and North America. So, yeah. If you guys like the video, like it, and comment down below what you want me to do for the next video. Thanks, bye.